Thank you, Mr. Roberts. How are you? I'm good, how are you? You figure it out. You always put your lucky charm. Lucky door. That was Jupiter. There's treats. Hidden treats. Right over the fence from our loving neighbor. It's Halloween. It's Halloween today, and I have a phone with a rubber band on it, and I have some new announcements. And a simple math equation. Okay, I'm gonna need some stand for this here for myself. Now, you hear that sound? That's Halloween going on. Not a big fan, because, well, one is that mm, the passing of my mother's, you know, the, the anniversary of the passing of my mother is the 30th yesterday. And I was actually so very distracted and absorbed with what I have to do in life. And I have a home-based project here that I really cannot let up on until it's done. I really am working on this project. Pardon me while I clean off the table with my sock here. Thank you. All right, I have a sock here. I don't want to clean my coffee that I just pulled off with my sleeve because it's clean, but the sock is dirty. So hi, welcome here on the day after my mother's passing. And I look like her a lot today, especially she used to wear these kinds of turtlenecks. Turtlenecks are great for your upcoming sagging neck. I mean, it's not upcoming. My roommate is like, mm, she takes pictures of it. She literally takes pictures of my neck wrinkles and laughs and laughs and laughs. She pulls out my eyelid and watches it stay there. Takes pictures. Whatever makes her laugh. Different things make different people laugh. And that's what I'm here to tell you about today. Today, I'm here to talk about the need the need we all have for some comedy. And I am announcing my world tour. World tour. I am going on the road with my comedy for the first time. Virtually every city you can even imagine. And I am starting with Chicago. So everybody in the Chicago area Just as I'm mentioning Chicago with my two sisters, two birds, which my mother loves, right over my head. I think this is absolutely auspicious. So let me tell you a few things about a few things in math and Chicago. So my first city is going to be Chicago. This is um, my new album. Um, what's it called again? I just love titles that I think of a title and I'm like, oh, that should be an album. And then I write material around it. I haven't written any material around the <sighs> actual title. I just got bitten by a mosquito on the bottom of my foot. These are ancient, all fall mosquitoes are, they're pretty brutal. They find, they do hurt, but more I find. Anyway, um, a stork is born. A stork is born. I'm kind of too old to be a star, you know? And uh, I love birds, so I'm the stork. And um, this is my new birth, my new second album, Birth. So uh, I got some basic, basic uh, math questions here. Like, I thought of this because it's just not working out right now. Like, if you like those questions, like if a train leaves Chicago at 8 a.m. going 35 miles an hour and in 10 miles picks up to 65 miles an hour, what time does it arrive in Boston? I can't stand questions like that. Another squirrely. I'm like, 
Where's the bar car? And how much is Guinness? Thank you, I'll be here all week. So the math is not quite working out for me with my home project to get on the train. First of all, I have to take a cab to a train. When the comedy actually lands right back on your phone in your living room, let me just work this out here for a minute. I need a couple stand-ins. Sounds, Jupiter. Very scary sounds. I got a couple crystals, some chalk, a boat. I think we could do this. A sock. Here's my nice, comfy, comfy, comfy sock. This is my home. This is home. It's comfortable. It's warm. It's light blue and white. And I like to stay there. And I know that um, comfort zones are where dreams go to die. So I don't want to necessarily die in my comfort zone, but I also can't quite go do something physically when it's gonna end up virtually anyway. So which one should be me? I'm the amethyst, it's the age of Aquarius, okay? Age of Aquarius. Ooh, we just got hit with a leaf. You are not kidding me, fall. That really fell. So we have to take the dog for a walk in a few minutes, but here we go. Let's see. Oh, here's the comedy. Here's the comedy. It's just pure and white and sometimes has a point. And if not, it's got a really like rough edge. All right, this is my comedy. So traditionally, you bring it to a comedy club, all right? And you have all these people. They're all different colors. They're all different lengths. They all break at different points and for different reasons. They all contribute. So normally, these guys, look at these beautiful fans of mine, of my work. They like the work. What is the work? It is words that make you laugh, basically. Okay? We'll go into the whole particulars of why that's good and important, but I think you know. So then, oh, I already put on one of my socks because <laughs> the coffee is dry from it now. So you bring all of these people away from their comfortable socks to go on the train. There you go. Come out of your thing, and now you've got to go on the train. And you get out and now you gotta go into the comedy club. Comedy club there. You're gonna get overpriced drinks. It's great to go out and everything, but right now I got a home-based project that I can't leave home for. So then, me and you, we all get together and share laughter and fun. And that's great. But now, because of this pandemic and everything that was like changed about the world, people go do this, all of my comedian friends, where do I see them? It's a flip phone, but online. So they're taking this and they're keeping it in their sock. Ooh. You see how I need a bit of a production team? This is a little bit pathetic, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do, and then, so if I go there, so this is me going there to the comedy club on the train up the stairs, into the thing, lots of expense to share this, when really it just comes back to here. This is, this is, um, you know, YouTube. If you didn't know, this is what YouTube looks like. It's, see, it's kind of a tube. I didn't plan any of that, obviously. You could tell I didn't plan any of that because it's not funny. Only the stuff I plan is funny. So here is the comedy club. Here's me, here's you guys, here's the comedy, here's YouTube. So now comedians are putting everything that they did, the comedy, which the people love, 
putting it. Oh my God, I couldn't have planned this better myself. <laughs> I can't. I can't even plan it better myself. Now, here's the comedy on YouTube. I don't want to hurt my crystal, but you get me. You get me? It's inside here. And now you guys, right? You guys, you're in there now. We're all in YouTube. We're all inside YouTube now. Look at that. Okay? With the comedy. That's what I'm doing now. But I love the idea because I had this idea, and I still do have this idea because I love ideas of Off Road World Tour. Off Road World Tour is a film in development that I've been developing for years, which includes me and a lot of other awesome comedians who have already said, Yes, of course we'll do it. Yes, of course we'll do it. Yes, of course we'll do it. And then I just stop there. So I. Doing a film is a little bit bigger project than just putting my comedy on YouTube. So now I'm going to take my comedy and I'm going to take me and I'm going to stay here in my sock and put it on YouTube. Okay? So please check the link below for a city near you. And how it's going to happen is I'm going to be doing a one hour live. I'm going to do just like you would on a comedy tour. I'm going to do the same material from my new album, A Stork is Born. Same material. Here it is. It's fresh. It's clean. It's pure. It's true material. And I hope you will enjoy it. I enjoy it. I, I, it feels like my parents are constantly talking to me because it's all double entendres and silly, 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 silly things like that. And I don't insult anyone but myself and old people sometimes, but I'm becoming an old person. So it's the HBO special, as I mentioned before, age B O special, A G E the stench of getting older. So that's my announcement on October 31st. And the first city is Chicago. And I would love for you guys to purchase tickets. It's a $10 ten dollars it's a private live of only the Chicago area and then each one of these cities is going to be put together into the final album so you can actually be on my album via the speakers it's it's such a great idea I love taking something simple and complicating the fun out of it I love complicating things but especially if it leads to something that kind of looks like it's simple, right? Isn't that like poetry's definition? It's like taking something complicated and putting it in just a couple words. That's my announcement here. Leave me alone now. I've got to go walk the dog.